European Society of Anesthesiology is now the European Society of Anesthesiology and Intensive Care. For a closer look at why the Society changed their name and the importance of this change, not only now, but for the future of the profession, let's find out more from Mosaic President, Professor Kai Zakharovsky. Professor Zakharovsky, many thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. So could you tell us, first of all, how does intensive care fit into anesthesiology as a whole? Yes. Well, uh, intensive care medicine is uh, part of the training to become an anesthesiologist. And many of us are practicing both anesthesiology and intensive care medicine. And we can observe this uh, within Europe. It's about 70% of the patients being treated on intensive care are treated by anesthesiologists. How has COVID-19 really highlighted the importance of intensive care medicine? Well, it's our daily life at the moment, uh, I have to say. But if you go back into history, uh, we had in 1953 the huge polio epidemia in, uh, in Europe and mainly uh, in Denmark. And basically intensive care medicine was born there and the founder of intensive care was an anesthesiologist named uh, Dr. Ibsen and he had this brilliant idea to uh, ventilate these patients by hand and thousands of students helped him in the treatment of uh, polio patients and lots of them survived after that. So that was the beginning. Now we have a new epidemic uh, which is called COVID-19 and again we need all the anesthesiologists all over Europe to treat these patients in need. And therefore, yeah, the question is very simple. Without anesthesiology, lots of patients could not be treated in these uh, difficult times. So why was now the right time then to add intensive care to the society's name? On one side, intensive care was always part of our society and it's proven by the exams we're doing, by research, but also uh, documented by patient care and our efforts in patient safety. And because we are going through a major change anyway, and COVID-19, it was just the right time now uh, to come to put the pieces together and now to have the full picture. So how will this affect the future of the society and its activities? That's, uh, I think that's a very important uh, question. We will focus more on education. We will increase our engagement in research in the field of intensive care but also put far more effort into patient safety on intensive care units and finally our exams will also cover more and more of the field of intensive care. What do you think that recognizing intensive care in anesthesiology actually means for the anesthesiology community? If you go through the national society names of each country. We have done this by over 200 different national societies. In about 30 to 50% of these national societies, the name intensive care is part of the society name. So now as one of the major uh, societies for anesthesiology, it's like um, coming home. It's uh, covering something what we do anyway, but never really have put it in the name. And I think this is a really important step which has been done. And I know lots of colleagues feel very comfortable and happy now that the daily practice what we're doing is now also found in the name. Well, we wish you all the best with this new future. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor Zakharov. Thank you very much and all the best.